After the 2007 season, Packers star quarterback Brett Favre retired. But then, as we all know, he unretired and, long story short, was traded to the New York Jets. But the Buccaneers was, were another team in the mix for trading for Brett Favre. So what would have happened if Tampa Bay had gotten him instead of him going to the Big Apple? That's what we're going to try to find out today. This video idea was recommended to me in the comment section of the Drew Brees What If video by Jacob Scora. Uh, so he, you know, left a recommendation. What if Brett Favre signed with the Buccaneers? And I was like, you know what? That's a pretty good idea. And I don't think anyone else has done any kind of video like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing today in Madden 08. Couldn't do it in Madden 09. That would have been the correct year to do it. But, you know, with the whole Brett Favre retirement stuff, he's not in the base game and I can't update it, obviously, on the PS2. So we're just going to be rocking in Madden 08. And if you guys have any video recommendations like this, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below and I might just use them. We're going to try to put this team in the best spot to succeed by doing some training camps here with Brett Favre, Cadillac Williams, Cato June, and Michael Clayton. Just trying to get the most out of our team and the most out of the guys we can get around Brett Favre. So we probably only have one year to do this rebuild. Brett Favre will likely retire after this season. If he doesn't, I'm totally open to doing another season, though. But let's look at the team he has around him. Obviously, he's going to be quarterback. Bruce Gradkowski will be his backup. He won't need to play because I did turn injuries off because, I mean, we're all going to have one season. And if Favre gets hurt, you know, in week five, he's out for the season. That's going to just really throw a wrench in this whole thing. Cadillac Williams, 89 overall. Michael Pittman backing him up there. He's also going to be our third down back. Mike Owlscott at 32 years old, 86 overall fullback. Joey Galloway, best receiver here. And then it kind of falls off to Michael Clayton, Ike Hillard, and David Boston. Jeremy Stevens will be the starting tight end. Then you got Alex Smith and Anthony Becht behind him. The offensive line is pretty solid. 86 overall, 84, 85, 87 overall. And then right tackle is definitely the weak, wink, weak link there as it's a 79 overall. The defense is definitely the strong shoot of this team. Kevin Carter, 86 overall defensive end. Simeon Rice opposite of him. We got Chris Hoven at defensive tackle. Wims and Sims are there as well. Cato June at outside linebacker. Rudd at middle linebacker, the weak spot in that area. And then, of course, big Derek Brooks on the right outside linebacker. Your cornerbacks are going to be Rondé Barber, Brian Kelly, and Philip Buchanan. Sammy E. Davis is there as well. Will Allen will be the free safety. You got Phillips at strong safety. Matt Bryant is going to be the kicker. Josh Bidwell, the punter. Buchanan will be returning kicks and punts. And uh, as I said, Michael Pittman will be the third down back for this team. All right, we are at the trade deadline now, and we are going to be making a move with the 49ers to acquire their middle linebacker here, Derek Smith. He is 32 years old, but we are in a win-now mode. It's a little bit of a weird trade because Adams is actually a rookie that was selected fourth overall, so maybe not the most realistic trade, but I'm also trying to win now, and uh, he's not having a whole lot of an impact currently as he is a backup behind Simeon Rice. We're also going to be sending them a third-round pick. Sure shouldn't really matter since this is probably only going to be one year. It's also going to free up a ton of cap space for us. And going right along with that move, we are going to be signing free agent wide receiver Peter Warwick. And those moves didn't seem to make an immediate impact, at least in this game. We are 1-5 right now. This is not what I thought was going to happen. We just fell to the Titans 27-20, to and Brett Favre threw five interceptions. I have been messing with the coaching philosophy a little bit. I figured, you know, we got Brett Favre. Why don't I throw the ball all over the place? You know, John Gruden would absolutely love a quarterback like Brett Favre, but uh, it's not really working right now, so I'm toning things down a little bit, trying to get back to the ground game, and hopefully we can turn this season around. Well, this sure hasn't gone the way I hoped it would. We lost to Seattle to kick off the season, beat the Saints, and then went on a big old losing streak here, four in a row. Then we beat a bad Lions team, lost to the Jags, beat the Cardinals, had a bye, got annihilated by Atlanta, lost to Washington. New Orleans came back and beat us. We beat the Texans and Falcons before falling to the 49ers. That gives us a 5-10 record going into week 17 against the Carolina Panthers, and we are not going to be in the playoffs. Wow, Brett Favre, 3,000 yards, 18 touchdowns, 34 interceptions. That might be a career high for him. I know he has at least two five-interception games, so uh, things have not gone 
the way that we sure hoped it would have here in Tampa Bay. 1,200 yards and 9 TDs for Cadillac Williams thus far. Uh, Joey Galloway, pro bowler, over 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns for him. But other than that, not a lot going on with the receiving game. Offensive line isn't spectacular. 100 tackles for Derek Brooks, 2 TFLs for him as well. Multiple guys here with 8 sacks. And then uh, Cato June, 5 picks for him. Got guys here with two interceptions each, but uh, yeah, this has not gone the way I, I thought that it would. But I'm still going to get you guys some gameplay in today's video. I was really hoping we'd you know go on a little bit of a playoff run like we did with Drew Brees in the Dolphins rebuild. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to settle for a Week 17 matchup against the Panthers. All right, here's Brett Favre and the offense now. He's looking to throw on first down, connects with Stevens. Nice, Clayton. Fresh set of downs here. Favre sacked. That sack is going to take us into the second quarter now. Favre steps up and is nearly intercepted. Third down and long now. Favre stepping up, airing it out deep into double man coverage. No can do. Oh, intercepted by Philip Buchanan. DeLome threw it right to him. Okay, so off of the interception now. Favre wants to go deep, and he almost returned the favor. Yeah, let's not try to increase the amount of interceptions he's already thrown this season. All right, it's second down now. Favre going to connect with Clayton, or maybe not. Looking for a third down conversion now. Far to the right. Low for Galloway, but he caught it. Down to the two-minute warning. Here's a play fake. Far hit as he lets it go. Incomplete. Second down now. Far looking for Warwick, but it's knocked away at the line of scrimmage. Here's a crucial third down now. Far throws over the middle for Ike Hilliard, and he has the first. Just outside of the red zone now. Favre on her center. To his right, and that's right into a sack. Second and long after Peppers does what he does. Favre is going to throw for Galloway. I'll pick up close to five. Third and 13 now. Oh, I did not know this was going to be a trick play. I probably should have looked at that before I picked it. Here we go. Matt Bryant puts Tampa Bay on the board. 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to try to get in the end zone before the time expires. Or maybe they'll be the ones in the end zone. Golly. We got a good kick return, and Brett Favre is not going to learn from his mistakes. We're still going to try to work our way downfield. This one caught on the sideline. They're calling that a catch from Joey Galloway. First down after that spectacular catch there. Favre is going to fire to the left side. He's got Clayton. Fumbles the football out of bounds. So we can take a couple of shots to the end zone, that means. This one incomplete. Four seconds left. All right, want to be careful to just quickly get this off to the end zone. No! Should have just settled for the field goal. Instead, we're down by four at halftime. The Buccaneers will get the football to start off the second half of this here game. Brett Favre going deep here for Warwick. Incomplete. Second down now. Favre is going to try to thread the needle, but it's not going to work. Early third down on this drive now. Favre is going to throw and it's going to be dropped. So the Panthers tacked on a field goal, which means we're going to be down by seven with less than two minutes to go in the game now. Favre trying to lead a game-winning drive. There's a nice start out to Galloway. Now on second down. Favre. He's going to throw this one back to Galloway. He's only going to pick up five. We're just two for five on third down today. We got a conversion there with Joey Galloway, though. Let's hurry things up. 
Oh, Galloway's open again. They've got him. He's got some pretty good speed. That was another nice connection to Joey Galloway. Now, Favre looking for Hilliard on the other side of the field. He catches it. All right, it's first and goal. Favre. He's pressured. And his helmet's going to come flying off on the sack. He got sacked. Dang it. Put your helmet on, Favre. Get back out there. Ooh, that was dangerous. Okay, we've got third and goal from the 17-yard line now. Favre throws and it's going to be picked off. No game-winning drive for Brett Favre or the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And that game really felt like it described our season. A little bit of an opportunity, but then Brett Favre throws an interception. And just as I suspected, Brett Favre is going to be retiring after just one season here with the Buccaneers. And I'm pretty disappointed with what happened. I mean, the Buccaneers felt like they were one of those teams that was just a quarterback away, you know, from doing something. I mean, they made the playoffs in real life in 2007 with, like, Jeff Garcia at quarterback. This is that same roster. Just throw Brett Favre on there. They're a 12-4 and team, right? I guess not. 5-11. and uh, I was thinking while, you know, things were, you know, taking a turn, we were like one and five, this could make an interesting mini series, maybe doing the same thing, but game by game, you know, and then see if we can do something with that. Let me know if you'd be interested in that kind of an idea. I am down to do a mini series like that. Uh, but obviously I want people to be interested and to actually want to watch it and whatnot before I put a bunch of time and whatnot into it. But uh, yeah, again, if you guys have any recommendations for some realistic rebuilds and whatnot and what ifs in these old Madden games, leave them down in the comment section below. But until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.